Planting forests can cool the planet more than so far it has been thought. Planting trees is one of the simplest and most simple effective natural solutions to the climate crisis related to global warming. However, the influence of trees on Earth's temperature is many more complex than previously thought. Scientists feared that reforestation of areas on mid-latitudes can even lead to warming climate, due to the high ability of trees to absorb sunlight. New research by researchers at Princeton University has found, that these concerns ignore the key element of cloud. Experts report that it is denser cloud formations are associated with forested areas. And that means again a forestation is likely to be more effective in earth cooling atmosphere than previously thought. The results of the analyses were published in the proceedings of magazine the National Academy of Sciences. Is reforestation of areas located on medium latitudes such as North America or Europe? maybe in reality make the planet warmer? Forests absorb large ones the amount of solar radiation due to low albedo, which is a measure the ability of surfaces to reflect sunlight. Low in the tropics albedo is balanced by greater carbon dioxide absorption by dense, year-round vegetation. However, there were concerns that in temperate climates trapped solar heat can eliminate the cooling effect. Nobody knew until now whether to plant trees on mid-latitudes are good or bad because of the problem albedo says the author of the work, an expert in the field of environmental engineering, Professor Amilcar Porperato, if you consider that clouds tend to more frequent formation over forested areas as planting trees on large ones areas are beneficial and should be done for climate purposes he translates. Daytime clouds have a cooling effect on Earth. Except direct blocking of the sun, they have a high albedo, similar to ice and snow. Clouds, however, are difficult to include in research and have therefore often been ignored in climate change mitigation analyses says Professor Porperato. The research team also included Sarah Chirasoli from Faculty of Civil and Environmental Engineering and Jun Ying, Assistant Professor at Nanjing University of Information Science and Technology. Porperato and Ying had previously reported that the model's climate underestimates the cooling effect of the daily cloud cycle. Last they also reported that climate change could cause an increased daily cloud cover in barren regions such as the American Southwest, which are now ideal for solar energy production. Chirasoli, Porperato, and Yin examined the latest study the influence of vegetation on cloud formation in medium-sized regions latitudes. For this purpose, they combined satellite data about the quantity clouds from 2001 to 2010 with models related to the interaction between plants and the atmosphere. Scientists checked the relationships between different types vegetation and the boundary layer of the atmosphere, which interacts directly with Earth's surface. In this way, they wanted to see if cloud formation existed varied depending on the type of vegetation present in a given area. They focused their research on moderate latitudes geographical. The effects of both reforestation of grubbed up were analyzed previously, areas and a forestation of areas previously devoid of trees. The team found that for medium-sized regions latitudes, cooling effect caused by clouds, and combined with the carbon binding effect of trees, it outweighed radiation solar absorbed by forested areas. Models have shown that clouds form more often and earlier over forested areas, than over meadows and other areas with vegetation grassy. More clouds had a cooling effect on the Earth's atmosphere, and the fact that they were created earlier made them have more time to give effect cooling. These findings can help develop appropriate policies allocation of land for forestation and agriculture. However, the authors emphasize, that we must be careful when making similar decisions. 
We cannot take only considering climate change, but we also need to consider other factors, the such as biodiversity and the fact that land is also needed for production food says Chirasoli. Further research should consider the role of clouds, but also focus on more specific regions that's. The main thing is not to worsen the situation it's Professor Porferato. The Earth system combines a huge number of factors. If we will change one thing, it is very difficult to predict how it will affect others parts of the system are emphasized by the scientist.